Hey YouTube, Colorado Hunter Hiker here again. Uh, it seems like uh, everyone is focusing on what gun to get next, or bow, or what are the best binos, or the spotting scope, or the rifle scope, or the newest arrows, or the newest release. And while these things are all important, I think one of the most overlooked pieces of equipment that we really depend on are clothing. So these next few videos are going to be something that I had overlooked for many, many years. For nearly a decade, I hunted in a pair of Carhartt jeans and a pair of Kenetrek gaiters. Now, while this got the job done, it wasn't comfortable. And there's definitely a lot more comfortable, lightweight, and efficient, and effective way to hunt. Especially when it comes to clothing. So since getting some nice hunting clothing, I can honestly say you get what you pay for. There are some really high quality and high end clothing companies out there and some really new and uh, well made uh, specific hunting clothing. Uh, companies that come to mind are First Light, Sitka, and Kuyu. For those of you who don't know, Kuyu was actually headed by one of the guys who started Sitka and then sold it. Their idea is to send products directly to the consumer rather than using a middleman like Cabela's or Bass Pro or Gander Mountain, something like that. Now, while these next videos are going to be Kuyu heavy, um, I will review some other gear that I have from other companies. These are just some of the ones that I have together right now. So, um, I have experience with pretty much every brand out there um, and a lot of backcountry hiking and mountaineering specific companies. So these next videos, like I said, are going to be Kuyu heavy, but I will do other reviews on other stuff too. Um, so without further ado, this is the Tiburon series from Kuyu. First up, we have the Tiburon pants. These are $139.99. Um, again, they are available at Kuyu, K-U iu.com um, and these were the very first pants I had uh, that was anything other than jeans or Carhartts or something to that nature that were specific to hunting um, and man can I say what a stark difference between the Carhartt jeans that I've been wearing I first tried these on a spring turkey backpack hunt in Colorado down near Salida it was hot and all except for one quick rain sleet storm it was dry the Tiburon series is designed for just such occasion. In fact, if you pick up the clothing, you can see a checkered pattern, which is highly breathable. And there is really no good way to do this on camera. Um, I can tell you, it's it's you can see through it uh, even in low light. So I know what you're thinking, though. If they're thin, they've got to be weak and they've got to rip easily. <clears throat> and that was my first thought, too. So I took these pants and I put them on. And I backpacked in, and then the next day I found the biggest hill I could that was covered in brush and scrub oak and all kinds of junk. And I just started walking. And I found that not only are these exceptionally breathable, they are super tough, especially for a lightweight pant. When I say lightweight, I mean that I would rather wear these than shorts um, for a couple reasons, and we'll get to those. So, after I tried to deliberately ruin these, I hiked up a mountain that was covered in scrub oak and I made no effort to avoid any of the branches, I got the result. And that was that these things rock. Um, they're tough. They don't snag, they don't rip, um, they don't get caught on brush, they actually just deflect them off pretty easily. So, I've used these pants for an early turkey season, which was hot and dry, and I've used them actually this past September for an elk hunt because it was still really dry and really hot. Um, and frankly, my attack pants were just too warm, except for in the evenings. So, if you're only hunting a hot, dry time of the year, uh, you're hunting down in Texas, places like those where you're really not going to see much cold, I'd really highly suggest these pants. Now, that's not to say these are a do-it-all pant. They are not. They are, in fact, far from it. These are specifically designed for hot and dry, or at least moderate, temperature uh, and, and rain. Um, they do have a DWR coating on them and they shed off water really, really well. Um, like I said, we got rained on 
my pants didn't get wet and since they're so thin if they do get wet I have gotten them wet they dry really quickly um, on them they have a pocket up here for that's quite large um, and you can fit your whole hand in there you can fit a uh, range finder in there they've got a uh, cargo pocket which I will tell you it's hard to get a gloved hand in here uh, my hands are pretty big but a gloved hand getting in here is, is pretty tough. They are big though. Um, they've also got rear pockets, which are zippered, that work pretty well. Um, same thing, cargo pocket on the other side and another front pocket. Um, as if these pants weren't light enough and breathable enough, they also have hip vents. And uh, that, <laughs> that right there, as you can see, you can see through it. You can see my hand in there. At least I hope you can on the video. Um, you can see through them. Uh, so, you're saying, well, why would you want a pant like that? Well, you want a pant like that when you want to wear shorts, but you're turkey hunting, and you have white pasty legs, or you have uh, you don't want to get eaten by the bugs or uh, mosquitoes. So, those pants, they're great for hot, warm weather, um, you know, you can layer up under them, but because you can see through them, they're really, really just designed for warm weather. So, moving on to the Tiburon shirt. Um, I bought this shirt. I thought it would be a good cover for hot days when camo was necessary, but I didn't want to wear a t-shirt, so turkey hunting came to mind. Turns out that this shirt actually does quite a bit more. Um, I found myself wearing it on hot days rather than a short sleeve shirt for a couple reasons. One, it's breathable, and it lets the breeze pass through all over, cooling not just your arms, but it cools your whole body. So if you had a short sleeve shirt on, it would just cool your arms. Two, it still provides full camel protection, which is key for turkey hunting, and while well, I'm bow hunting. And three, it makes it so that I don't have to put sunscreen on my arms at all, which I would definitely have to do that if I was hunting in the high mountains of Colorado in the summer or, or uh, early spring uh, or early fall. So this shirt though is by no means an insulation layer. Again, it's made out of the same material that on camera I can't really show you very well, but it uh, you can see through it. There's a checkered pattern um, and you can see right through it. So um, not a good insulation layer, but um, you, I have worn this with just a simple thin base layer of Miranda wool under it, and it does add some warmth. Um, again, like I said, it's made of the same material, um, that the other, uh, that the pants are made of, and on it, there's a chest pocket, um, right here, which is hard to see again, which is, I guess, good for the camel pattern. Um, great for turkey calls, um, it's right on your chest, just to the side of, of the uh, half zip there. Um, it works really well uh, for turkey calls and mouth, mouth elk calls, um, but I'm sure you know it'll fit whatever you want to put in there. Um, that shirt is $99.99. Um, and last but not least are the Tiburon gloves. These are $49.99. Um, they come in uh, their camel patterns. I like the bearded pattern. Uh, they have leather palms. Um, they are thin. The backing is that same checkered material, um, so you can see through it. Um, it's very light. They work very well. Simple Velcro enclosure. Um, they they work great. Uh, here's my what I, in actuality, found out. Um, I have these. I have the guide gloves. Um, now I have the North Star gloves. And I also have fingerless Moreno wool um, first light gloves and honestly um, first light advertises those as gloves that you will never take off um, you'll put them on and you'll never take them off and I thought that was a little bit brass to say that but it, it's true I don't take the Moreno ones off I do find myself wearing these on top of them for colder days but um, while they're a great glove for you know working on things and keeping good full coverage whereas the fingerless ones are not, um, I do find myself wearing the Moreno First Light gloves more than these, um, but I do wear them together. Um, so, some things to be careful about the Tiburon series, and frankly all Kuyu gear or other high-end gear. 
fires. Now, if you're like me, you like a fire in the back country. It's comforting. It's warm. But the thin materials don't like the sparks. And I found that out. Of course, I was not too happy. Um, on my very first pair of nice hunting pants, um, on the first night, I took it and sat by a fire. Um, and just these little ember holes that come through, um, again, they're going to be hard to see on the, um, on the uh, video here, but uh, it doesn't take much to get these little tiny burn holes in them. Um, just a small ember will put one. Uh, there's one right there. You can kind of see it lighting up right there. Uh, it doesn't take an ember very long to burn through these. So, um, that usually means I bring a pair of camp pants to put on at the end of the day while we're sitting around the fire. Or, I find myself sitting away from the fire, which is what my hunting buddy does. But to me, that defeats the purpose of having a fire, because you want to be close to the fire. So, just be careful. You can, you can definitely burn holes in these really quick. They make this stuff called Tenacious Tape, which I'll do a video on, that's really pretty decent at fixing them or at least repairing them so they retain a lot of the properties that you want. But fires, watch out for fires in general too. <laughs> um, this is the warm weather series of their Kuyu gear. And I also have the Attack, and which is their mid-weight pant, as well as their Guide series, which is great for cold weather hunting. But don't expect this this set to keep you warm. This is not the the do it all set. And in my opinion, this is a a great um, hot warm weather, not too wet, uh, dry climate series. Um, and, and if you're looking for something a little bit warmer but not super warm, I would go with more of the attack pants. Um, and if you're looking for warmth, then look at the guide or the Chinook uh, series. Um, pretty soon I'll have those videos up on, on the attack series and the guide series, as well as some more um, gear. I know I've been a behind <laughs> lately and I apologize for that. Um, I've also had a couple requests for videos and I will, uh, I will honor those requests. So if you want to see a video of some of my stuff, uh, let me know. Um, and uh, that's it. That's uh, the Tiburon series from Kuyu. Uh, it's a great warm weather set. Uh, it's reliable and well made. Um, like I said, any questions or comments, please let me know and I'll get back with you. Thanks guys and gals. Have a great day.